This set of movies is about deployment diagrams, which offer a physical view of your system. And in this first movie, we'll define what a deployment diagram is. A deployment diagram maps a system's software artifacts to the hardware that will execute those artifacts. It shows a static view of software components and the hardware nodes on which they execute in their runtime configuration. Deployment diagrams model a system's logical elements, where those elements are located physically, and how they communicate with each other. So, in other words, this kind of diagram shows how the software will be installed across the system. It shows the physical relationship between a system's hardware and software. What does a deployment diagram look like? As you can see here, a deployment diagram's elements include nodes and artifacts and various kinds of connections among them. A node is represented by a three-dimensional box. And a node is a physical entity, very often it's hardware, that can execute artifacts. An artifact, represented by a rectangular classifier box, is a physical file, such as an executable, library, or source file, that the system's components use or execute. In other words, they're pieces of information related to a system software. And as you can see, there are also dependencies and other kinds of connections that you might find among these elements. Later movies in this group will discuss nodes, artifacts, dependencies of various kinds, and communication paths. Now, in practice, a deployment diagram might show the number and location of database servers or web servers in your system, as well as how these elements are connected to other elements in the system, and what physical devices, such as workstations, the system comprises. It's worth pausing a minute to define system here simply because, in different contexts, people can mean many different things when they talk about a system. In the world of deployment diagrams, system refers to the software you develop and also the software and hardware that enable that developed software to run. This includes, for example, the middleware that connects the layers in a multi-layer application. So keep that definition of a system in mind as we go through the different movies in this section. Now the question is, when would you use deployment diagrams? And they're very useful throughout all stages of the software development life cycle, particularly at the end, but really all the way through. You can use deployment diagrams to create a rough sketch of the physical layout of your system early in the development life cycle. Even before you know the details about the hardware and the software, you can make a rough sketch of deployment in terms of what you think you'll need for the system to do what you want it to do. And you can discover issues involved in the deployment process of your system. As the development life cycle progresses, you can take your early rough sketch and revisit it and refine at later stages. So as information about the system becomes clearer and more detailed, you have existing diagrams that you can update with that information. Deployment diagrams are useful to identify and explore the dependencies between this system and other systems in its environment. And you also want to use deployment diagrams in order to visualize the physical topology of your system's deployment. So anything that has to do with the relationship between hardware and software and system deployment can be captured in a deployment diagram, as we'll see as we go through the other movies in this section.